1140 Western Syria. A group of ruthless warriors take over the castle of Masyaf and declare its massive walls their headquarters and trusted messiah. Today we journey to the former kingdom of one of the most mysterious and most fascinating creeds in history. We journey to Masyaf, Syria, the home of the legendary assassins. Imposing, ancient and impenetrable, a child of the mountains is the fortress of Masyaf. It is here where the assassins established their state, and from within these magnificent walls they ran the first recorded covert operations in human history. Their legacy embraces the shadows of immortality, and their leader is this man, Rashid Adin Sinan. Fearless, dogmatic, and ambitious, he was nicknamed the Old Man of the Mountains. His followers were called Al-Fidayin. Their weapon is the dagger. And their murderous brand is assassination. The story of the assassins began thousands of miles east in what is now modern-day Iran. It was in 1090 when the founder of the Assassin's Order, Hassan al-Sabah, found refuge in Alamut Castle. On October the 14th, 1092, Seljuk leader Nizam al-Mulk was traveling to Baghdad. Surrounded by trusted members of his inner circle, his mind was focused on tightening his grip on the Seljuk Empire and maintaining his power. Then fate showed his face through the deadly dagger of the assassins. Stabbed multiple times, Nizam dies. He dies at the hands of the shadowy assassins. Migrating westward, the assassins found a safe haven in Syria and the fortress of Masyaf became the de facto capital of their state. But the location itself predates the assassins and their mighty rule. On-site evidence suggests that the foundation dates back to the Roman century 
a period that was filled with conflicts and a fierce competition to dominate this landscape. The arches. The secret vaults. The massive walls. It is beyond the divine touch of magnificence. The assassins reclaimed their fortress in 1260, ushering into an era of dominance and prosperity. Building a chain of imposing castles, the assassins now are masters of war and they are the undisputed gods of their own destiny. Destiny, the kind that breathes through these ancient walls and shares tales of heroic deeds, mysteries, and tributes to the leaders and the soldiers of this legendary order. An order that tamed the wildness of the mountains, sculpting this mammoth of a fortress. But where did the assassins get their name from? What is the origin of this term that would make them the most feared group of warriors of their time? Two schools of thought provided an answer to that question. The first one argued that the name assassins came from the Arabic word assassiyum, which means loyal to the fundamentals of the faith, or simply fundamentalists. The other school of thought argued that the name Assassins came from the Arabic word Hashashin, which means addicted to hashish or drugs. And the basis of the argument came from the idea that al fidaiyin the soldiers of the Assassins, would consume hashish or drugs before they go on their covert operations and the assassination missions they were sent to accomplish. That way, they're not thinking. They're focused on one goal, as if they are under a spell. They're focused on one mission, and the mission is to assassinate the leaders of their enemies. In 1270, during the height of Crusades, Philip of Montfort was the Lord of Tyre and one of the most powerful figures in the Holy Land. On March the 17th, Philip was praying in his chapel. While he was down on his knees, a man approached him, feigning a desire to convert to Christianity. But instead, the man attacked Philip, stabbing him multiple times until Philip departed this earth. The man was an assassin. From Tyre to the castle of Masyaf, the stronghold of the assassins, and from Masyaf to nearby Grac de Chevalier, a Templar's stronghold, the news of Philip's assassination traveled faster than the winds. It was a high-profile assassination and a victory for the assassins, a victory that died soon. 1270 had a more sinister fate. The assassin's rule has finally come to an end, and the smile of death has finally brought their souls to rest. Rest and eclipse, the dawn of the assassins, was darkened by the barbaric invasion of the Mongols, and later by the Mamluk leader, Baybars, the same man who defeated the Templars in nearby Crac de Chevalier. Despite the assassins' departure, their legacy continues to live through the fortress of Masyaf. Impeccable architecture, unmatched, unshakable, and unyielding. 
defying the merciless waves of time that crashed before these mighty gates. The name of the assassins is eternally printed on this Syrian treasure. <laughs>